I figure this is as good a place as any to do the intro video for fitting a VK56 into my MP300 Navara. We're at the Adelaide 4x4 show in the content creator area and I've gone and fitted up just the engine cover to the MP300. Everyone thinks it's in there already. It's just the cover. But let me show you. Um, I've got the motor in the back. Yeah. Bit of a talking point. We pulled the VK56 out of our wreck only Thursday. It basically came straight out of the patrol on a forklift and put straight into the back of here and driven to the show. So it's about as raw as it gets. It's very dirty. I apologize. It looks massive in the tray, doesn't it? Like, how on earth is that going to fit in the front? Well, I'll show you something. I'm standing in the tray, and I've just slipped the engine cover on top of the engine. I'll look at it from down. But basically, the engine is no wider than the engine cover. So if I can get the engine cover to fit over the in the bonnet, it should work. I haven't actually got a tape measure out yet, but uh, the back of the motor, that's another another concern. So we've got about one, almost a hand width at the back. So we'll take the engine cover around to the engine again. Check out the bush barrier's head made up for this. <laughs> They're so cool. All right. All right, here we are. There's the engine bay with the little half motor in there. We've put the engine cover over the top. We've put the engine cover over the top and this is the funny part because everyone thinks it's on. And even like, there's like these little moulds where the radiator hoses and air intake, it, it looks like it was meant to be. But of course, it's not. All right, looking down on top. As I was saying about the engine cover, like there's actually like quite a bit of room here and quite a bit of room here. And that bit that I was talking about at the back, you know, there's, and the firewall sort of comes down on an angle and goes sunken deep in behind. There's, there's, actually, there's actually a chance of this happening. Um, both the Y62 Patrol and the Nissan Navara share a seven speed auto. Like, hopefully this engine will just bolt up to it make some new engine mounts for wherever the engine ends up um, and the engine mounts off the Y62 are flat like as if they'd sit on the chassis we might have to get rid of some of the cooling as in we might have to um, put thermo fans in uh, maybe electric power steering pump something like that but it's actually looking plausible of course, next question will be uh, the electronic side of it. So, this is theory number one. We'll take all of the electronics, all the ECUs and everything out of the patrol, put it in the Navara, so the motor will never know that it actually left the patrol. I don't know if it's going to work with the transmission, because there's a lot of ECUs. Uh, the transmission in the Navara is just a rear wheel drive and four-wheel drive, whereas the patrol is all-wheel drive. Am I going to accidentally end up with an all-wheel drive Navara? I'm not sure. Uh, but this is video one, and we're just going to <laughs> hypothesize here and say that we can get this engine to fit in the Navara. Stay tuned, there'll be lots more videos of all the battles we're probably going to have to get this done. But I believe this is going to be the first VK56 MP300. Check out on Insta, hashtag project, <laughs> project dash MP300. And um, we'll see where this goes, hey? It's either gonna be epic or an epic fail. <laughs>